Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me Lydia in my little crafty corner. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this card and it's a really fun one to do and you can create many different scenes and looks within the different baubles that we have going on here. So to start with I am going to be using the circles from the half tone circles nesting die set and what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out which circles that I'm going to use for my baubles. Once I've done this, I'm then going to take a piece of masking paper. So this is sticky when you remove the backing piece. And I'm just going to cut my baubles from this. So I'm saying baubles, even though they're just circles at the minute. So once I have done that and run that through my machine, I then have the masks and the stencil for these images. So what I'm going to do is I'm then going to take the stencil first and I've tucked the back off and I'm just going to pop this into place. Now you're going to want to put the bauble that you want in the front first and I'm then going to tape around it. For this bauble I'm going to create a little snowy scene so I'm just going to take a piece of scrap paper. I'm just going to tear it a little and then I'm going to add a little bit of misty morning to add a sky. So the bit that we're covering with the scrap paper is going to act as the like snow banks and this is going to be the sky. So once I'm happy with the amount that I have on this top piece, I'm then going to remove this, maybe tear it a little bit more to give me a different snowbank effect and then add a little bit of ink just off the paper to create another snowbank there. Now this ink's very, very light. So you may want to use a darker one if you want to do this quickly. And then I'm just going to add some of that misty morning around the outside edge of this bauble to kind of give me a shadow. I'm then taking the pine tree stamp set. This is one of the mini stamp sets from Altenew. And I'm just going to ink the first layer using the Shadow Creek ink. And I'm going to stamp those into place. I'm then going to add the second layer of this tree using the mountain pine. How could I not use this ink? And I'm just going to ink that up and then the trees are complete there. I then wanted to add a little bit of more of a shadow to this bauble. We want to create the effect that this is like circular round. So I'm just going to add some shadow around the outside edge using the dark sky, no, the cloudy sky and then the nimbus around the side as well. Once I've done that, I'm then going to remove all of the masking tape that I have in place because I don't want to get on anywhere else on the card and also that stencil piece that we have going on. If it doesn't remove as well as you'd like, just use a little bit of heat from your heat tool and this will release the adhesive that's going on there. And I really do love how this little scene turned out. So once I've done that, I'm then going to take the mask that we cut for it and I'm going to pop this directly on top of it. Then I'm going to work out which bauble's next. And I'm going to go with this smaller one first. I'm going to pop that into place and then add some tape around it. For this one, I'm going to go with an all over red. So I'm going to be using the ruby red ink and I'm just going to ink blend that through my little stencil piece that we have going on, trying to pay more attention to where the baubles will overlap to give me more of a shadow there and around the outside of the bauble too. I'm then going to take the beautiful snowflake from Small Moments and I'm going to ink this up using some antique gold ink. So we're going to have a gold and red bauble over this side. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm just going to stamp that one down and then there is our second bauble complete. So once that's done, again, remove your masking tape and your masking stencil. Again, if it's not coming away properly, use your heat tool. So I'm going to pop the stencil on top of this bauble here. Now, as you can see, I've removed the top one because I don't want to go through the ink. So this is going to give me an extra layer with that one that we just popped down. Again, this is the third and final bauble that I'm popping into place and then adding some tape around so I don't get any ink where I don't want it to be. And then taking the mini Christmas stamp set and I'm just going to be using the berries and leaves for this. Now I wanted to add a different shadow to these. So all I've done is I've inked the berries up using the ruby red, then use the grapevine just to add some darker points around the berries. So I didn't ink it all fully. And then I'm going to do exactly the same technique for the leaves as well. So that means I'm going to be stamping in the Shadow Creek that I used for the um, trees before. And then the Mountain Pine just to add a darker touch to the bottom of those leaves. 
So I'm going to do exactly the same technique with all of the berries and leaves that I have on this bauble using the same colours because I keep, really want to keep the same colours on this card so it all looks as it is one even though we have all of these different patterns going on. So once I'm happy with the amount of leaves and berries I'm then going to add some shadow. So for this one I'm using the cloudy sky and I'm just going to add shadow where the baubles overlap and just around the outside edge of that bauble too. Once that's done, remove all of the masking um, tape around the edge and then add the mask on top of the bauble. I did want to add a kind of a shadow around these just so these baubles pop a little bit more. So to, to do this, I used the Nimbus, but it wasn't giving me the darker color that I wanted, so I went with the Dark Knight later on. So once I've done that, I'm then going to remove my masks that we have over these baubles adding a little bit of shadow if I do feel that I need it on each bauble. And I really do love how these baubles turned out, they're so cute. So I'm then going to take my metallic watercolours and we're going to add the little hangers on the baubles. So I'm just going to use one of the golds from that and I'm just going to paint this on. Now these are opaque so they're going to go directly over anything that's underneath them. So this is a really great way to add these little toppers, especially if they go over the other baubles. So again, I'm just going to add them in and they're kind of like rounded rectangles. Once I've done that, I'm going to add the strings again with the same gold. I'm kind of using the lines on my grid map just to help me out with those. I did get one a bit wonky. I wanted to add a little bit of splatter as well using the same gold and a little bit of water just to add to the effect of the background. I've added the masks on top and then removed them when I was happy. For the sentiment, I'm going to be using the Merry Christmas die set. So I'm just going to take the joy from here and I'm going to cut it out of some gold cardstock, gold mirror cardstock, and also some jet black cardstock as well. So I've cut it out once from the gold and twice from the jet black. I'm then going to stack these die cuts together with the two black ones on the bottom and the gold one on top. So it's going to be the gold one that you see. The black is more like a foam tape that you don't even have to add foam tape for. So once I've done that, I'm then going to add my sentiment into place. Again, I'm going to be using the Old New Tape Pen, one of my favorite tools ever. And I'm just going to pop this into place. I did have a little play around to see where it worked. And I think it worked really well on that bauble. So I'm just going to add the little dot on the J into place and here is the card complete. I really do love how this worked out with all of the various different scenes and patterns on the baubles. You can really go to town with this if you wanted to. So I really do hope that you've enjoyed the video and that you like the techniques involved. If you do create something that was inspired by this, it would be great if you do share because we would love to see. If you do want to watch any more videos, there's a couple more here to watch at your own leisure. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any videos that we do upload to the channel, it'd be great if you do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching everyone and we'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye.